Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna to be sharing with you how to make a towel bathrobe. And we're gonna be illustrating it with a smaller version of it so it'll make it easier for you to see. Hi, today we're making bathrobes out of towels. Today we have three bath sheets. One, two, three. And we're gonna take two of the bath sheets. And your bath sheets normally measure 30, inches by 62 inches, 76.2 milligrams. Centimeters. Centimeters. Today, we're going to put together two of the bath sheets. These that I'm using today have a design on them. So if you have a bath towel with a design on it, you want to put your design at the bottom. You always want to save your finished edge so that you will have as less raveling as possible. I'm going to pin the two towels together. This is your bath seam. This bath sheet usually fits one size fit most. This is your back seam. Once you pin that together and you're going to sew this, we're going to lay that right here for now. And we're taking the third bath sheet and you're going to cut your sleeves. You're going to take your bath sheet and fold it in half and you're gonna measure 21 inches. Using your finished edge, 21, you use your marker, and you're gonna mark it across, and then cut 21 inches. This is gonna be for your sleeve. Again, you have your finished edge and your design for the sleeve. You're going to pin this together, because you're gonna sew this together, for your sleeve. Okay, you have your front and your back and your sleeve. Let's leave that there. And then what you have left from cutting your sleeve, you're gonna use for the hood. And you're gonna take the leftover from your hood. And this part is your seam, your finished edge here. And you're gonna take this and sew across the top. This should be, for your hood, 18 inches. You're gonna pin this, because you're gonna make the seam across here, and once you open it up, your hood is gonna look like this. And you're gonna sew this to the top of the towel. You're gonna set this aside. Then, we have the washcloth, or you have a hand towel. You want to use this for your pocket and you're going to cut your pocket. Again, you want to use your salvage edge for the top of your pocket. And the finished edge is going to be on the outer seam of your pocket because again, you want to use as many finished edges as you can to save. Across the top, it's going to be 8 inches wide and 10 inches long. So you're going to take your marker and you're going to mark it. So if you have a washcloth, you're going to need two and you're going to measure them. But if you have a hand towel, then you're going to fold your hand towel in half and measure eight by 10 and cut it. Again, you wanna save the top of the finished edge. It's gonna be the top of your pocket. And then this seam here is finished for your outer seam. So it will be finished because this side is gonna be cut. You're gonna take it and fold it in and sew on top and then at the bottom so that your seam will be finished. Now we're gonna to go to our sewing machine we have all our pieces. We have our back and our front. We have our sleeves, our hood, and our pocket. For the armhole, we need to cut an incision here. You're going to take your two tops and you fold it in half, and you're going to cut right in half in the seam. Measure it. You can either measure it or just fold it and cut it. 
I'm going to measure it. That'll be your proper weight. And you're going to cut it down 14 inches. Actually, I'm going to cut my hair small. You Okay. There you go. But that's going to be for your arm. And that's your front. Now we're ready to go to our sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, it is possible to do some hand sewing. It'll take more time and patience, but those of you who do a lot of hand sewing know what it'll take to do that. Now we're going to sew our towels together. And you've got your seam here. This is the back seam. And we're going to stitch these together. We start from the top. Now we've sewn our back together. We have the seam down the back. This is our front, and you're gonna sew the shoulder. This is your, your shoulder here. Let's put a pin here. This is your hole for your sleeve. And this part here is going to be where you're gonna sew your hood on. I need to reinforce the top part here. You have to be careful with not breaking needles when you're sewing with towels and thick fabric. So I did a little bit of hand turning. Okay, now we're gonna lay this here and we're gonna take our sleeve we're gonna sew your sleeve together. No, I've got the hood. Toasty! The hood. Well, while I have the hood, we're gonna sew across the top of the hood, but this was the hood. You may wanna mark your parts so that you'll know for sure what you're sewing. We'll start here with sewing this seam here. So now we have our hood. Now I'll go back over here and find the sleeve. And we pinned it together and we have our finished edge for our sleeve. We're gonna put this together here where we have our pins and we're going to sew. And this is one sleeve. Again, I'm using a mock size towel because just trying to make it simple and fast. And no, uh, that's one sleeve, and then your second sleeve. Now we're ready. This sleeve, this seam goes down, and this is the top of the shoulder. But we're going to pin that around and sew this in here. And then that's what it's going to look like. We're going to sew that into this armhole. We're sewing our shoulder, sewing the seam across the shoulder. We've sewed our seam across the shoulder, and then this is the armhole. We didn't sew it all the way over, we sewed it halfway because this is going to be where the hood is going to connect to come around. Okay, now we have our back and our front sewn together. Our shoulder is sewn together here. And we have our opening here for the armhole. This is the part of the towel that we're gonna use to make the sleeve. Pin this in, you got your right side and your right side here. And we're gonna pin right to right. Turn it over and you're gonna pin this. all the way around. Well, sometimes you might feel like you didn't get an exact measurement or one's larger than the other. Don't worry, if your sleeve seems to be too much for the armhole, then you can cut your armhole a little bit larger. Just cut it down here. But this fits in here fine. But if it seems like it's too big, then you take it up a little. Don't get frustrated. 
practice makes perfect. Now this one, we're gonna sew it around with a regular seam, but as you can see here, this is starting to ravel already. This is why I was saying we wanna save as many finished edges as we can. So we're going to sew around here with a regular stitch. Now I went all the way around with a regular stitch and there your sleeve is in the towel. But now if you wanted to get a reassurance of helping hold down some of the raveling, like I said, you might want to use a zigzag stitch. You have a regular stitch and a zigzag stitch on your machine. So if you zigzag around your edges, this helps the raveling. Any unfinished seam, if you want to protect it from raveling, then use your zigzag stitch and this will help. And if they don't have a machine, they can do uh, Some of them have machines that, some of the machines have a binding, or uh, some of them have uh, the sergers. They have a serger that has a different edge, finishing edge also, that'll help if you have that type of machine. This machine is just a basic machine. But I sewed it with a regular stitch, now I zigzagged it, and that's gonna help it from raveling all over everywhere. Again, this is your, you've got your back with your sleeve, your seam down the back, and this is your front. Now that we have our front and our back together and our sleeves in, we're going to attach the hood. And this was the hood, we sewed that together like that. So now you fold it in half across the back. This is your centerpiece right here. You could put a pin in it. And then you have your robe and your neck opening. And this is the center of the back. And this is where you're gonna put your pin. You got your front side, and this is the. So we're gonna put that on there and pin that together. And we're gonna pin this front edge. This is the edge of your hood. We're gonna pin that to the front of that. In the front of the other side there together. Now we have your hood pinned to the shoulders and the opening of the rope. Now we're going to stitch it together. We're using a regular stitch. Next, we're going to stitch this all the way around. A few moments later. Now this is where I was saying about one of those raw edges here again on the sleeve where we had the raw edge and uh, we zigzagged it so it won't shred. Here you've got a, a raw edge and it may ravel. So you might want to, again, so you don't have it keep shedding, you want to use your zigzag edge here. So use the zigzagging there to help hold down some of the uh, raveling that that unfinished edge may cause. So now you've got your hood on, you've got your sleeves in, and your front and your back. Now we're going to sew our pocket on. You're using a regular stitch for your pocket. You Reinforce that top there. You got your pocket on. This is one pocket and on the other side, you're gonna sew 
Let's do the same thing for your other pocket. And we got our sleeves in, our hood on, our seam up the back. And there we've done it. Yay! Hey. Now only thing that's missing is you want to put on your belt. Now we did have fabric left over and some people, if you're interested in it, you can sew fabric by sewing the pieces together, sewing that Oops. over to make your tie, or you can just buy some rope or ribbon that's going to tie around the waist of your you get a decorative rope and you tie it around. That's really cute. And here we go with our <laughs> towel robe. Awesome. That could be like for a little girl, huh? Yeah, hey, this one we're going to have done so you can, once you experiment, this one could have been, if you used like the regular hand towels, you could have used them for a a child size rope. Male but or female. Mm-hmm. I would like to thank my cousin Andre for her awesome participation in making this video possible. And thank you for watching this chapter of Martinez Chapters on Sewing. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed. You know, the holidays are upon us and making someone happy, giving love, a happy, beautiful towel robe is a great gift idea. And I will be showing you how to make vegan hog head cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Bye! See you in the next one.